So someone requested to have this girl removed out of the picture. So I decided I'll help him out with that. Um, so what I normally like to do is just select the lasso tool and um, select the subject that I want to cover the person with. I'm doing this video not to really teach people how to use Affinity Photo or anything like that, but someone asked on one of my shorts, how was I using Regenerative Fill and Affinity Photo? But uh, I'm actually using two different applications. It's not built into Affinity. Uh, and I'm gonna show that process in here. So now I'm just kind of pushing the image over to where I think it would be okay. And once I do that, I can use AI to tackle all the, say, difficult stuff. So here I'm just playing with the shadows, deciding if I want to move that little shadow that's in front of her feet. And I decide to do that just using the clone stamp. And like I said before, this isn't like, you know, a, a paid job or anything. Uh, uh, it's just something that I do for fun. Uh, I used to use Photoshop, but with their prices, Affinity Photo seems to be the better choice. I know that Photoshop is adding a lot of AI stuff, which makes it great, but I just can't see myself paying that price since I don't do this professionally. This is just like a hobby. Anywho, so now the image is at a point where it's ready for me to use it in my AI tool. I use a tool called Focus AI which is an open source application. So once you have the application installed, you just run that bat file and just wait for it to load. You may need a GeForce card to do this. NVIDIA card, I have a 3080. So now with the tool started, I'm gonna go to advance and just select one image. So it only generates one. And then I'll go here and I'll add the image. Now here, to zoom in on the image, you can just hold shift and use your mouse wheel to scroll in. And you can see some of the areas that we need to remove. So I'm just gonna highlight the areas that I want the AI software to handle for me. And we can start by removing that duplicate table here. And this duplicate tree and whatever that thing is in the background. I'll just highlight that. After I'm done highlighting it, I can just press R to reset that and hit generate. If it's your first time running it, it has to download stuff, but I've been running this for a while, so it's gonna do its thing. So this is the actual speed. I didn't speed up the video, but going on, I'll start speeding it up just to make it a little bit faster. So you can see it removed it, but it added some objects because I didn't type anything like do this or add this. I just let it do what it wanted to do, which I do that a lot when I'm just trying to remove something. I don't really type it out. I don't think uh, it's that smart when I t try to type stuff to say, take this out and take that out compared to just highlighting it, you know, and press generate. So now that that's gone, I want to just Remove whatever this is. Get that out of the image. Get some of this grass and shadows out of there as well. Some of this stuff I can do in Affinity Photo, but since I'm here inside the AI tool, might as well let it do the heavy lifting. Now I'll speed it up from here. So it added a couple of shadows that I don't need either. Uh, but we can move on from that. I can always be taken care of later. So now back here, I wanna zoom in 
here. And let's take care of this awkward part here of the other lady's shoulder on her or next to her body. So I'm just gonna highlight that part of the image and see if AI will take care of it without telling it anything. Just highlight it, see if it recognizes the flaws and fix them for me. That didn't come out too good. But I can just hit generate again to fix that. As you can see this object, I don't know what that is, but you know, let's generate it again and fix that problem. Let's see what it gives us this time. Okay, that looks a little bit better. looks like her shoulder pushed into her arm there. For me, that's good enough, you know. The main objective is complete already, and that was to remove the lady with the glasses. So now we could take care of some other stuff that looks a little awkward. So after it generates, if you didn't notice, you have to drag the generated image down to the box down below uh, to get the updated image. So now I'm just gonna try to highlight this awkward tree here that it added. and. Uh, See if it'll remove it for me. Looks good. So now I'm just gonna basically continue to just play around with that. I dragged that image over there because I thought I was gonna be done, but I said, oh, let's move this awkward table and person kneeling down in the background. But anywho, this is how I use Affinity Photo and how I use the AI tools. Now I don't have a tutorial on how you can install it. I think it's very self-explanatory when you go to their site that I have linked in the description. Uh, but if not, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of videos out there where someone can explain it, but it, it, was, very, it was very straightforward. So that's why I didn't really show that in this video. All right, so I can just shut up talking and just let you watch it if you're still here with me. Um, you can just watch what I've done. I'm just basically tinkering and doing little stuff here and there and trying to make it look a little bit more natural uh, or good enough for the user. 